Hey guys, this is Nick Del Toro from Houston, Texas. My mission today is to give you all very basic information about muscle physiology and training principles. There are five basic training principles. The one I want to focus on today is overload. Also what I want to focus on when you're training on a, on a physiological level are myosin and actin filaments and the whole sliding filament theory. In your biceps, the two things responsible for you being able to curl a dumbbell are the myosin and actin filaments. During a concentric contraction, the bicep shortens. During eccentric, the bicep is lengthened. It is understood by many who have studied physiology that the most muscle damage, which translates into muscle growth, is elicited during the negative or the eccentric portion of the rep. This is why most bodybuilders really focus on the negative portion of the rep. So the one training principle out of the five that I would like to focus on, the one I feel, of course, is the best and most important is overload. Basically, uh, you just train to failure, you know, and of course, if you have a spotter there, you can train past failure with assisted reps and, and of course, negative training where somebody assists you in the rep and, of course, you're doing, you know, three to five negatives. For this arm session, I was doing, uh, I always warm up with pushdowns. I warm up with about three to four sets of uh, lighter weight, get, get an actual good pump before I move on to uh, my working sets, and I'll get about four to five working sets. My working sets and my exercise choices are all, are all relative to me, how I'm built, exactly what I feel the best in the muscle. Um, after that, I move on to uh, kind of spider curls, I believe they're called where I really focus on the negative again. Um, I kind of have a more of an explosive contraction, uh, concentric contraction where I curl the bar up and I have a really slow controlled negative. So for me, this, this really enhances uh, that pump. It gets me a pump super fast. Um, and of course, it's all, it's all coming off understanding how that muscle works. So, I mean, I would never accentuate the negative that much if I didn't understand exactly what's going on on a, on a you know, underneath, underneath the skin. From there I moved on to a, a cable tricep extension. You know, you, most of y'all know the, the barbell and dumbbell versions of this where you lay flat on a bench, but this is actually a, a really cool free motion machine at LA Fitness. From there I kind of superset every set, four to five sets with uh, with a close grip press to really exhaust the tricep as, as much as possible. Again, the overload principle to take a set to where it's never been before. After that, I move on to a concentration curl type of movement where the tension is always on the bicep. Um, it's, an, it's still a free motion exercise and it's a cable version with, and it's still, it's still emphasizing the negative. So more or less an explosive concentric contraction and then really take my time on the negative. So, and of course I, I do four to five working sets. My reps range from eight to 15 reps. Usually I pyramid up in weight. And I say pyramid, but I only go up. I don't come down in weight, you know, so once I'm good and warmed up, I keep adding weight, adding weight until I reach my max weight, and then I get to maybe two sets of eight. And there again, I'm going really slow on the negative. Flex up, really slow on the negative. And um, especially in the arms, it'll, it'll induce a, quite a hellacious pump, which of course is, is one of the most sought after feelings of, of all trainers, you know. Everyone who works out, they want to get that pump. Of course, I think Arnold uh, kind of made the pump pretty damn popular after what he said in Pumping Iron. So there you have it, folks. This is my understanding of the training principle overload and why the negative or eccentric portion of every rep is the most important. For Fitness RX, this is Nick Del Toro. I'll catch y'all later.